Hey, good morning, fellow YouTubers. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Just making my dog a little bit of breakfast. So here we got some brown rice cooking for him. That'll be mixed in with some turkey meat that's only seared, like partially cooked. And then at the end of the workday today, I'm going to pick up my son because he's uh, got a learner's permit so he can help drive to Harley to get my motorcycle picked up because I had that primary looked at. Now they quoted me 160 to take the, the primary casing off and inspect. Okay, but now they said, we'll show you the components. They said, we'll show you the components. You know, we'll call you up and let you come back and inspect them. So we'll show you that they're clean. So they went into it just, you know, with that mindset that look, it's gonna be perfect. Are you sure you wanna waste 160? You know, and it's like, yeah, I wanna waste it. Let's let's waste 160. So that was the mindset going in. They were gonna prove me wrong, but there's nothing in there. But then they, they took off not just the casing, they took off the whole backside too. So the whole primary, and then all the components were taken off except for the clutch housing. So the chain and um, the chain adjusters or lifters or whatever they're called, um, chain tensioners, um, they were all taken off. So my bike wasn't even around. My bike was way over in the corner and they brought me to a table and showed me the components. Um, I would have been suspect maybe they didn't even work on my bike at all, but I recognized the primary was so dirty and filthy from my oil because I busted a seal in the back of the primary casing and um, oil was all over the back and it was all these brown leaves were shoved back in the outside of the inside of the casing, if that makes any sense. And that's totally my, my primary because I got all these leaves in the backyard right where I park it. So, but anyways, 160, I got new spark plugs, high performance, $33. Um, probably like, what, um, 18, let's round up a little bit, $18 for the um, one quart, or not quart, one, um, one liter of um, uh, synthetic oil for the, for the primary. Um, so let's look at it. What I said was, um, 160 I was quoted, 33 for the spark plugs, oil 18. Let's say the seal was really expensive, 40 bucks. And let's give them a lot of bonus and say the labor for the seal was an extra 40 on top of the 160 quoted. So that would come out to 301. They quoted me like 470 for the price. And I just act like I didn't hear the guy because he didn't have any paperwork to go over with me. So when I pick it up today, it kind of affected my sleep because you know, I get kind of uh, emotionally um, a little bit irritated and it shows when they just think that they can just spend your money. You know, I was quoted 160 and watch, they're gonna be charging me over 300 for just the labor on the primary. Now to go from 160 to over 300, you have to get a verbal okay. And they don't do that so frequently so before I start getting frustrated <laughs> and emotional right now, just share that with you that there's a discrepancy. I mean, I'm being very generous with 301 and there's still a discrepancy of like $174. You know, that that's just silly. You know, and I could obviously be really hardline and say, I'm not paying more than the 160 with the price of the seal and the price of the additional labor. So I'm not paying more than 300 or 301 but um i'll give you an update to how it went when all is said and done all right okay so the second half of this story is they call me over the phone and they say um we found out that uh you do have a leak and so it's in the back of the primary and uh you would need a new seal so I should said, sure, no problem. They failed to mention that that was $197. And then they failed to mention, they said uh, 160 to take off the primary cut case and put it back on. They didn't uh, include the oil. Obviously, that would insinuate that the 
synthetic oils included with that 160 cost. And then um, they didn't even tell me that the back half of the primary casing would have to be taken off. So it's just, you know, it went from 160 to 450 without any mention of like increased costs. All they said is, do you want to replace a seal? I was thinking the seal would be like 40 or 50 bucks, labor like, you know, 30 or 40 bucks. So I'm thinking like 60 or 80 bucks, not 200 bucks just to replace one seal. And then they say it need a new gasket. They never asked me about that. Just throw on a new gasket and a new gasket for the derby cover. Didn't, didn't ask me for that. So it's like, you know, Harley is very frustrating because they are arrogant. They come from a very arrogant place. Let me show you this. When I go in there, I say, gosh, you know, over the last six months, my primary has gotten really loud. And uh, so they're just like, you know, right off the top, the, their attitude is, okay, well, look, you got to pay 160 for us to take that cover off. We're not going to find anything wrong and we're going to put it back on. That'll cost you 160. So right away, it was like, we're going to prove to you that there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, not out to say there's whether there's something wrong or not. I'm saying it's too noisy. It's vibrating so much that I can't ride it now without my left hand um, keeping me awake all night because it goes completely numb at night. So it's not like I want to argue. I just want to find a solution to the problem. I'm not insisting that something's wrong so much as help me get it back to how it was six months ago. It's not a, he said, she said, I'm going to beat you. There's a competition. It's me coming to you for help and saying, I'm going to open my pocketbook. Help me solve this problem. But they, they called me in just to look at the components, basically to like a dog to shove my face and shit and basically go, look, the chain's perfect. The um, teeth on the sprockets are perfect. You know, so now you're satisfied. You know, and I had done a little bit of research online about um, about compensators that they make a lot of noise when they go bad. But you know that that they never brought that up, and I should have. But I guess I'm too much of a people pleaser at times, and when they're just like in my face, going, "Look, everything's perfect," and everything did look perfect. I mean, the chain and the the teeth of the sprocket looked perfect. So, um, you know, I felt like maybe I am being a little bit oversensitive and maybe Harleys do just get noisier and noisier as they get older. But anyways, so I had a little friend of mine help me do a little bit of research online. <laughs> and um, we, we, uh, realize that you know compensator really does get rid of the noises and that harley's compensators do go bad so you know but i got brand new oil in there paid just paid 450 bucks so i'm gonna uh give it a six months and then maybe he and i this friend of mine steve is his name will um do that job together because he said we could do that it's easy he, he looked at the process to replace that compensator, take that primary case off and put a new compensator on there. So I'll probably buy the new compensator within the next two months or so and just hold on to it. I love doing that. You know, getting a nice uh, part that you need and just buying it like four months ahead of time so that you know it, you know, you already got the majority of the cost covered and you're just waiting for that oil to get old enough to to go ahead and take that primary off. But if, if the vibration's too bad, because I already have um, primary synthetic oil, a brand new um, leader ready to go. So if, um, if the numbing of the hand is just too much, because I think to get rid of some of the noise and some of the vibration, they overfilled it. The primary, they kind of filled it a little bit higher than normal, just to make it, um, a little bit smoother with that nice thick synthetic oil in there but uh 
yeah, so that's that. Um, we'll see. If the vi vibrations are too bad, I'll change it sooner. If not, I'll try to throw on a compensator with the help of a friend in six months from now. So that's the plan, Steve, if you're watching, and I appreciate you so much. Anyways, you guys, it's, uh, it's almost the end of January. Can you believe we're going to be heading into spring before you know it? All right. So thank you, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Have a good day. Leave a comment, hit like, dislike, um, share, share this video. Have a good day.